I thought I'd show you a few scenes from the latest Gold Trails episode. With Kevin Hoagland and uh, Jeff Williams is in this one. This one just came out today. If you're a GPAA member, you can watch it online. It'll be on uh, Channel 6 or 56 KDOC, I think towards the end of the month, possibly, on TV. Anyway, in the meantime, if you're a member, you can see the whole... This is Season 2, Episode 2. Really? And some of the gold's even got cords attached to it, so you know it hasn't gone far. So you just, you, you've gotten into residual strength. Exactly. Perfect. And that's what I like. I mean, I'll take the other stuff, but hoo -hoo, if I can find the source, that's what you're looking for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So far, this looks like a great place to find gold. What? What you got? He's talking to me now. Oh, wow, look at this. Come here, take a look at it. I told you this. So that's me. Oh, look at that. There's my brother Randy. Okay, this is when we're back at the ranch and we're metal detecting now. That's me, Kevin Hoagland, and Jeff Williams and his wife and different people. My brother's there somewhere. I'll show you in a second. Uh, we're on day three, wrapping up right now. We're doing a little metal detecting. Well, we had a lot of fun up here at Mount Wilson Ranch, and we went out metal detecting, and we found a couple nuggets. Yesterday was great. The guys that were out there participating just like me found a few nuggets while we were out there. Couldn't be happier for them. One guy, woohoo, Larry, he found a big nugget. <laughs> Man, I'm really jealous now. There's Randy. And I know there's more. So come on, let's go. Hey there, this is Larry. Good morning. It's Monday, October 12th, up here at Rattlesnake Hill. And I, uh, this time I'm not looking for coins. I mean, if I find them accidentally, I won't cry about it. i uh, just going to spend a few minutes looking for artifacts. i got to run some errands with my wife today, but so anyway, take a few minutes. It's going to get hot, too. So, uh, But I noticed uh, a mining, a prospector acquaintance that lives down in Murrieta. I noticed he posted, uh, he didn't say where he was, but I know where he was. <laughs> anyway, he found some uh, pieces of pottery here from where they had the assayer's office up here. And uh, I found a couple pieces myself before, but I didn't realize what they were. And they had a name on the bottom. I, I don't remember. I think it's like Bennington. I know it said England. And I didn't realize they were actually the little cups they used in the assayer's office. And so uh, he found quite a few of them, pieces of them and all that, and a square nail. So I know where that area is because I found some of those cups here before, like I said, but I didn't realize what they were. So I probably won't find any of those because he probably cleaned those out, but uh, I thought I'd go up and see if I could get a few more square nails. My wife likes those. She makes little necklaces and different things out of it. So I'm just going to do that today for a few minutes, probably half hour, hour at the most. The guy that plows the area every once in a while to keep the weeds down uh, so they don't get fined by Riverside County, he's been up here... Uh, he looks like he's on a mission to plow everything up again. That kind of helps us sometimes. Sometimes it uncovers some coins or some artifacts. But we've been kind of encouraging people the last two or three months to come up here if you like looking for coins and artifacts because sooner or later they're going to build tract homes all over here and we won't be able to do anything. So come and clean it out while you get the chance. Okay, I found part of a square nail, so that's one thing. Okay, found another square nail, a small one. So I'm looking for iron. Okay, there's, what is that, it's part, part of a nail? Yeah, it's pretty well shot. I'm sure there's some more in this mess. Okay, something right there. Actually, I brought a shovel. I always forget something. The sh I brought the shovel, but it's way down in my car. I don't have time to walk, walk all the way back there. Okay, where is this thing? Well, it looks like that's some buckle or something. 
pretty well corroded, but I'll keep it whatever it is. So on this one spot area right here, the first one I picked, I found in quite a few nails, but they're all the smaller ones. And uh, I'd like to find a few of the bigger ones today too, so I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit. So as soon as I moved over a few feet, I found a trophy size one. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, real small to real big in this hole. And I'm sure there's more in there. Okay, here's another one. One thing that kind of throws you off up here is these pieces of bricks. See how they really go off. So that's why it is a lot of brick and some pottery. Is, you know, iron or whatever it is mixed in with them. So it uh, throws you off. You think it's something else and it's a brick. Okay, here's a real nice one. Long one. That's kind of especially out. Got a piece of purple glass up here. Find that every once in a while. Solarized glass. Some of the areas here, just if you get your nose to the ground and just walking along, you'll find the nails. There's one there. Kind of buried, but there it is. Let's see if I can find another one for you. There we go. And another one. Anyway, gives you an idea. There's some old big old piece of iron. Here's part of one of those. I think it's the part thing that goes to the lamp, kerosene lamp, whatever it is, that holds the wick. Just, I mean, a little piece of it is all that's left. I'll dig around. Maybe I'll find some more of it. Probably not. I did find another part of it. Okay. The guy, when he plowed right over here, he did dig up this old bottle. I mean, part of an old bottle that used a cork. So that's one good thing he dug up. I'm kind of looking where he dug to see if anything else is lying on the okay, I got a coin sound here. I found two coins already. What's this? Is this? Okay. Uh, let's see, what did I find? A buffalo and a weedy. Where the guy plowed. Got another one here in the plowing area. Okay. <clears throat> Kinda lost it. Okay, let's see here. Find it again. Okay, right. Still right in this area somewhere. Oh, I see it. Okay, there it is. Another buffalo. All right, put that with a collection. That'll give me three coins. Like I said, I'm not looking for coins, but I don't mind finding them. And this little piece of metal here. Yeah, I'll take that too. My wife might be able to do something. Yeah, I found another part of a bottle where he plowed. I'm not sure if this kind of looks like it's old. But I'm not sure what, why it has this ring here. So here's the artifacts I got. Tons of nails. And there's still tons there. All kinds of little pieces of metal, pottery, and three coins. Okay. I'm at the Hemet Valley Prospectors Club. Here's one guy's finds.